Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails. And we are here with Oberon who's uh, <laughs> been out and about wandering around lately and he's actually also been asked to help Coco with a very serious problem. Now, Oberon isn't necessarily taking that problem as seriously as he could. Uh, he's kind of mucking about with it and uh, taking his time. He hasn't really quite crossed the severity of the situation and yeah. He's not, uh, not all that good with it right now. We got a bass. A lot of you guys are saying actually catfish spawn down here in Mystic too, so we'll have to keep an eye out for them as we wander around with Oberon since he's really the one who has the, the most eyes down here. Um, but I don't think he, um, I don't think he would really realize the significance of it, of course, because he's hardly even realized that, uh, hey, this could be a serious issue, and he hasn't even gotten to the point where we would need a catfish anyway. So he's kind of just bringing stuff back as, uh, as we need to. So it's the very end of fall, and it's already snowing. Wow. But uh, we are also going to make sure we're heading back up to, uh, to mountain territory because he's still trying to earn up to... Um, to being able to get another coat. Uh, you guys have sent me some links to the different coat colors and I'm not entirely sure which one I like at the moment. Um, Oberon has um, a, a, a tabby coat in the drawing I did of him and I think ultimately I do want to, to get him one but I kind of want to experiment with different looks as well. Um, and honestly, I feel like he's the sort of cat who might roll around in the mud, <laughs> and uh, I kind of like that th this coat sort of has a muddy color. So we're going to be experimenting with different looks, uh, even though originally I intended for him to have the, the tabby one. And uh, the probably the closest one we could get to that tabby is one from actually uh, from the forest colony. So we might have to check over there at some point as well. But for now, we're going to focus on uh, getting to know the mountain domain. And a lot of you guys have been picking up on the fact that, um, though Oberon himself wouldn't quite admit it, uh, perhaps perhaps there's another reason he keeps going back to uh, to mountain domain other than uh, just wanting to, um, to look at the different coats in the shop. Hmm, a lot of you guys are thinking that, uh, hmm, perhaps, perhaps, something more is going on. Perhaps, just perhaps, a romance is beginning to bloom, and uh, we shall have to see what comes of it, because uh, it's a little early to tell just yet, but he certainly has seemed uh, to be taking a bit of an interest in some of the cats over here. I'm not going to go for that squirrel, just because uh, it's it's we don't have room for it anyway. So let's come up here. We have pretty good reputation with the mountain domain. Did we determine... I think I think Luna likes Marigold. He's basically trying to keep his reputation up with everyone. Oh, we're up to four stars um, at this point. And we determined, was it, it was Golden Seal. We determined that, uh, I think it, Arthur is okay with Golden Seal, right? Was it Golden Seal? Uh, he, he does. He actually is okay with it. Um, these two haven't exactly gotten along the greatest, but they're starting to get along a lot better now. But you know who else likes Golden Seal is actually Robin. Hello, Aberon. It's always good to see a friend. Oh, I think that's something he probably doesn't get called too often, a friend. He, he really doesn't, um, he really doesn't have many cats he would consider friends. And, um, in all honesty, I think he would be kind of surprised by that, and I think he might give her this catnip that he has here, um, and I think he, he would maybe, um, I, she really did seem to like it, I think he would give that to her, I can't remember, hopefully we didn't get that as a gift, sometimes we get catnip as a gift, but I don't think Oberon has gotten any, it's hard to keep track of, uh, the different, the different cats and everything that goes on with them, sometimes switching back and forth, so I do apologize, um, if I'm not always the best at keeping up with, uh, with uh, putting gifts in, in the den and not just using them uh, wherever or using them for our cat specifically. So I, I do apologize for that. Um, we have Pebble here. I think, oops, I think Pebble likes these, uh, these damselflies, right? Yes, Pebble does seem to like these. So I think we'll give some to him here. And Jag, I don't know what Jag likes. Does he like fish? We'll try giving him a fish and just see what happens. This is a bass. 
and we'll give it a bass to Jag. Um, he was—he seemed slightly pleased by it, although not excessively. So I think um, I think Oberon would probably wander around, and we, you know, we should probably talk with uh, some of the cats as well because he's starting to to warm up to some of the others a little bit more, and uh, starting to, especially in Mountain Domain. Weirdly enough, he's more accepted here than in his uh, his own territory down in Mystic Colony, uh, which is where he originally came from. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, he really hasn't made as many friends down there except for Savannah, and he really has uh, gotten along quite well with Savannah, but he really hasn't got- he hasn't- he hasn't really clicked with any of the other cats there. So let's chat. Uh, huh? What's the big idea? Have you bring gifts to the Mountain Domain? Show them to me and I'll inspect them. What do you want? Don't try to distract me from my duties. Jag is still a little suspicious, it seems. Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Some days I feel like there's nothing to do around here. You can only watch the waterfall so many times before it gets boring. Got any suggestions, Oberon? Um, I don't know. I think that's something he's still figuring out himself, is uh, how, how to pass the time and uh, what to do. Oh, hello, Oberon. I'm glad you stopped by today. Uh, let's chat. I'm not supposed to sell items to cats that Leo doesn't trust. Oh, no! We've lost our reputation. We better hurry and raise it again. I know... Marigold is really good for getting reputation up, so we better make sure we keep that up with Jag. We'll give the Marigold to the Mountain Domain, and it's gone up again. We really gotta keep it up. Uh, I thought we had a little bit more, um... Oh, that wasn't very good. I thought we had more, um... I thought we had more... Okay. There we go. Oh! He's even inviting us to join the Domain, but I think... I think we... Oh, I guess maybe... Does she just say that? Um, oh, if you're polite around here, folks will be polite back to you. I think he was a little worried he was going to lose his shop privileges, so we kind of panicked there. Who goes there? Hearken to my words, traveler. The heavens send a torrent of snow to blanket the earth today. Are thy pauses and then is mine to have to walk upon it? Uh, yeah, especially for Oberon, who's been traveling quite a ways. And uh, let's make sure we... we uh, Robin moved, <laughs> so we didn't get to talk with her. Hello, Oberon. It's always good to see a friend. Think you can use an emerald? I happened to have an extra and thought of you when I saw it. Go ahead and take it. Oh my goodness, Robin, that's... That's an amazing gift. That's, like, really rare. Oh my goodness. I think he would be kind of kind of shocked and maybe stammer a little and run off with it. And, and not, not know what to do. Not know how to, how to thank her. Because I don't think anyone has ever given him a gift uh, like that. I mean, I don't think he gets many gifts in general. Let's just chat as well. I'm not supposed to give treatment to cats that aren't trusted by our colony. Uh, that is true, but I think... I think we're trusted, right? We could, we could use healing. Oh! <laughs> She's... Do they say different things if you, if you keep talking to them um oh they do oh my goodness i didn't know that she they actually say different things on the same day i didn't know that yeah look at she says different things different times yeah she's still very suspicious of us though because we are outside the colony and oh i think he'd scoot past by leo though and um let's eat a little bit here I think he would scoot by Leo. He's still not entirely trusting of Leo and is a little bit, uh, a little bit cautious around him yet. I think he would hurry home as it is getting late and maybe talk to Savannah about his findings. I feel like Savannah is probably the only one he's really mentioned anything about this to, though, because uh, Mystic and Mountain are really not on very good terms. They're quite, um... They're quite opposed to each other, really. I think we're gonna upgrade our hunting skill because we've had some issues trying to, um, trying to catch prey recently. Um, but I feel like he's maybe talked to her a little bit. Hey, wait a second! Wait a second! Yes, there's a power paw in it! We have, we have more health now. We're up to uh, 125. That's good. Um, but I feel like he's maybe starting to mention some to Savannah who's probably his closest friend in the colony at this point. Uh, he really hasn't gotten on well with a lot of the other cats. They... I don't know. They, he just... He's kind of... He comes across as a little rough around the edges. And I don't really know that he's really fit in very well. But Savannah has been very accepting of him and, and trying, to, trying to reach out to him, really. So we'll go maybe chat with her. 
on our way in, because I think- Oh my gosh! Okay. I think he would stand his ground and fight, because he is getting a little bit- uh, he's getting a little stronger. He's up to six strength here, and I think he would want to stand his ground here. We've got a bunch of other cats from our colony coming, too. Alright, are we able? We won. Okay, we got some experience as well, so that's good. Um, but let's head back this way. And we can... I'm gonna eat more of these berries, because we have a lot of them and they're taking up a lot of room in our inventory. But we'll scoot down this way. And I think... What was it? We determined there was something that Savannah liked, What didn't we? Now I can't remember what it was. I think... Was it frogs? Did she like frogs? I can't remember. We'll, we'll find out. Um, let's come down here. Hello, Savannah. I, I feel like that he would- that'd be more the sort of gift that he actually would appreciate, and so he might give her one and just see. Howdy, glad you stopped by. This is a pretty terrible gift, isn't it? Oh no! I feel like he'd be very upset about that because he actually really likes frogs. And uh, I feel like he would go slinking off to his den and be a little bit- a little bit sulky about it. But then he would remember he has this emerald, and he'd kind of put that in a special place here. I think we'll go ahead and we'll sleep. And I feel like he'd be a little bit miffed at Savannah for that now. Uh, they've been getting on pretty well for a while here, but uh, apparently they, they, they share very different, or they have very different tastes in uh, what they see as a fine dining. <laughs> um, oh, poor Oberon. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's head this way. I, I feel like he'd kind of go grumping off and not even want to say hello then after that. Um, he does tend to grab this uh, snake lily, though. Uh, although I don't think he would bring it to her as quickly as he usually uh, usually does. He, he'd be a little bit miffed that she didn't like his frog and would just be like, okay, whatever, no, I'm not, I'm not, nope. I <laughs> would uh, kind of just go his own way for the day and, and hang out with, with Mountain Domain, because you know what, maybe they like frogs more than him. Um, I don't, I don't know. I wonder what Robin would think of frogs. I somehow get the sense she would not be entirely appreciative of them either, though. So, let's come this way. We'll keep heading up. And we'll see if we can find anything else around here. I think he would, he would eat one of his, one of his frogs on the way. Uh, if no one else likes them, at least he'll have more for himself. Are we able to get it? Nope, we didn't get the crow. And we definitely want to keep that reputation up. But I think for now we're doing pretty well with it. Um, and I think he would have the invitation to join the, um, the mountain domain in the back of his head here. But I don't think he's entirely at the point where he'd be... I mean, Mystic Colony has been nothing but kind to him, even if he's been a little bit cranky and hasn't always, uh, hasn't always, um really appreciated I mean he's appreciated their kindness but he hasn't really got on well with most of the cats in the colony itself uh, he at least appreciates what they did for him so I think he would probably end up um, oops let's go down here I think he would probably still feel at least somewhat grateful to them if not uh, entirely um, if not entirely happy to, to be socializing with them constantly or any of that. Uh, so we'll head up from the Lone Sentinel. I believe it's pretty close here. Hope we just spooked that mouse. And... Let's come this way. Oh, here is the Mountain Domain. And I feel like he'd probably hang out here for the day, uh, mm -hmm. feeling a little bit, little bit shunned in, um, in Mystic. Here we go. I think he would give her Valerian. Oh, cool. I do kind of like those. So she doesn't seem to super, like, really like them a lot or anything like that. Um, and I think he would maybe chat with them just to kind of keep on good terms. Don't you have a doctor back in your own colony that you could visit? Uh, I think he'd be a little offended. Oh, there's Leo. He would quickly kind of duck and cover out of the way. <laughs> he's got a pretty good reputation here, but he still feels a little uncomfortable, I think. Um... I think he'd want to save that uh, golden seal this time, so he wouldn't give any to Arthur. Who goes there? Hearken to my words, traveler. Honor above all. That is the way of the Knights of the Mountain Domain, Auberon. Uh, yes, Arthur is a very noble cat. Um, and I think here... Honestly, uh, I think we'll give her the golden seal, and we'll give her this golden seal, 
and she's very she's very happy to see him. That's awesome, honestly. Oh, we're up to five stars. I feel like he kind of would hesitantly, since that went over well, just see how she feels about frogs. I um, don't like these, not one bit. Oh no, she was at least a little nicer about it. Please don't give them to me, thanks. Oh, she didn't like him either, but she at least is a little bit gentler about it. I, I feel like that's um, a bit of a difference between... Um, a bit of a difference between her and Savannah is Savannah is a lot more outspoken, whereas Robin is a little bit quieter and a little bit, um, a little bit more gentle about the way she speaks, perhaps. <laughs> um, but let's chat with Robin as well. Leo keeps telling me that I should join up with the border skirmishers someday, but I like my life of peace in the mountain domain. I have a lovely den and great friends like you. It's all I ever wanted. Oh, she's still she's still very nice to him even after that little bit of a a uh, little bit of an oops earlier. So I, I feel like he really does appreciate that, uh, and uh, it's not something he gets a lot. You're from a different colony. What are you doing here? Uh, that's a good question, honestly. Has he even answered that himself? We shall have to see what what he may decide about that. Um, let's give some of these because Pebble does seem to like them. Here we go. Uh, do you travel much, Amaran? What's the world beyond the mountain domain's borders like? Uh, it's different than this, that's for sure. And let's chat with Jay. Huh? What's the big idea? If you bring gifts to the mountain domain, show them me and I'll inspect them. You're not a mountain domain cat. What are you doing here? I, I don't know that he entirely has sorted that out for himself just yet. He, he's got a lot of figuring to do. So... There's a rabbit, and we might be able to catch it if we can corner it. Oh, snap. Yep, we can. Um, I think uh, we'll... Oh, lion. Hey, are these guys nice to us now? Hello. Can we talk to them? No. They're not attacking us. I think he's become really very accepted amongst the Mountain Domain. I mean, he's up here an awful lot. And uh, I think there's not really much suspicion on him at the moment. Uh, but he's honestly doing pretty well, it seems, with the- he, he's getting along quite well with them. I think he probably would start having to head home, though. I mean, it is getting a little bit late. It's three in the afternoon, so I think he bid them farewell for now. And I head back down to his den. Um, maybe along the way he'll do a little searching and see if he can find anything he could, uh, bring to Savannah, perhaps, as a bit of, um, a bit of an- I'm sorry, I didn't know you didn't like frogs, uh, kind of gift- so maybe one of these rabbits will do, or not, if they're both gonna run away. Um, we'll see if we can find anything she might appreciate here. Uh, here's some valerian. Maybe he'd bring her flowers. I mean, flowers are nice. Uh, he doesn't really appreciate them much himself, but perhaps, uh, perhaps she would. Um, he'll eat, go ahead and eat his frog, I think. And, um, head down, and, and we'll, we'll see if we can find anything. <clears throat> Ooh, there goes my voice. <laughs> um, we'll see if we can find anything else along the way that he might kind of be able to bring to her as a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of an apologetic gift. <laughs> um, I, I think he does feel a bit bad about that. He, he kind of just assumed she would like frogs as much as uh, he did, but uh, today has kind of proved to him that perhaps not everyone appreciates a good frog like, like he does. Uh, let's see, can we catch a fish? Would she like a fish, maybe? What's this? That's just one of those, um, dragonfly things. A brown hopper, I think it is. Oh, can we catch this squirrel? Maybe. Yes, we can. All right. And, oh, we never gathered up this, um, we never gathered up those coins from the battle. Let's come back down. We should be pretty close. Oh, here's another snake lily. We gotta gather these up before they uh, wither for the winter, but I think he would probably give most of them to uh, Savannah because uh, he kind of talks over uh, a lot of things with her when the, when she's not upset over frogs. <laughs> um, let's bring this uh, some of this valerian and maybe the bass and see what she thinks of those. Uh, and, and just hopefully, hopefully she likes them a little bit more. Howdy, glad you stopped by. Thank you, I really like this gift. Oh, I feel like he would hurriedly give her another one because uh, he feels bad for, for the frog. He didn't know she didn't like them. He, he kind of just thought she would. Uh, so let's see as well, is there anything we could sell in the shop? Uh, we can sell some of this lavender because he doesn't really appreciate what you can do with it very much. Um... He's more a believer in battles should be won by actual fighting. 
So, but I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, make have him make his way back to his den here. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.